one. I see there's some of you waiting. If you can hear me, will you please let me know? I'm hoping this is all working now. So let me know if you can hear me. Hopefully this is working. Yay, thank you, Stacia. I hope I said that right. Hi, Melissa. <laughs> can everyone hear me? Perfect, thank you, Debbie. Thank you, everyone. How's everybody doing tonight? Hi, Kathy. I'm glad to see you here. Chicago, awesome. <laughs> Melissa, I got this muffin tin, I think, I think from scrapbook.com several years ago. I actually just found it and I've been using it lately and it's been working great for sorting all the things, especially for video and stuff like that. Hi, Misty. I'm so glad you guys are here. This was kind of such a process to get it all set up and it's probably still a little bit, well, jank, but <laughs> it'll be fine. Um, we'll get better as we go. I am just decided to jump in and get started with it. Eventually I'm hoping to have two different um, cameras so we can do like face and the overhead view. Um, hi Sandy, I'm so happy that you found me too. I'm so glad to see everybody here. Definitely, um, chat. I can see the comments. If I happen to miss any questions or anything, um, this evening, I will go back through this later and answer those. So, um, definitely leave questions if you have them. Um, I had had a comment from one of my other videos. I fell off the wagon, I guess, <laughs> with creating my gnome seasonal cards. And I had started this like back in the fall because I did like Halloween and my Thanksgiving or fall theme and then Christmas. And then I did do Valentine's Day. And so I thought tonight it would be really fun to create an Independence Day type of gnome card. And while I am using red, white, and blue, I know not everyone maybe is from the United States. And so it's going to be kind of have a beachy summertime vibe as well. So it's not going to just be for the 4th of July. A liberated gnome. Yes, Lauren, I love that. That's hilarious. Um, we are going to probably going to go ahead and get started just because it does take me a while to create a card. I've never done one live and I don't want to have you guys here all night long. You would probably like to maybe um, be creating some things of your own. Is anyone crafting tonight? I would love to hear if you are crafting or if you have plans for the weekend, definitely let me know. Yes, sweet face salutations. I'm so happy I'm live too. Um, I cried last night, I will be honest. I literally stayed up for th about three and a half hours last night. I thought I had it all ready to go and I set it all up to get prepared for this morning and it didn't work and I decided to go to bed and wake up in the morning and try to fix it. It still didn't fix. And then I did get it fixed, but not in enough time. And so I thought we'll just do it this evening and hopefully this will iron out all of the uh, kinks and we can go from there. Oh, wonderful 15th birthday. I have a 15 year old as well. He's my youngest. Oh, thank you guys. Oh, from the UK, awesome. I love that. Oh, 20 s'mores packages with the s'mores uh, set from Lawn Fawn. How cute is that? Okay, so I am going to create the background of my gnome card with this Waffle Flower Modern Neutrals 
paper pad. And what I love is that these are five and a half by eight and a half inches. So I'm creating slimline cards and it's going to die cut it all with one pass. Um, I decided to go with something super neutral. I know this paper pad doesn't seem that interesting at first glance maybe, but I'm a huge sucker for white on white. Um, I think, I don't really love these so much, but I do think they would be cool for the right thing. Uh, but I love the designs in here and I'm just gonna flip through it because I love like the marble looking ones and stuff. They're great for, for backgrounds. Oh, and the bokeh. They're really, really fun. I kind of considered using a couple of different ones, but I ultimately decided on this one. It's probably my favorite from my paper pad. So I see that somebody is destashing. I am too. Uh, I'm actually working in my quote unquote new office. <laughs> it's I actually just moved to the other bedroom. I sure can zoom. Hold on. If this shakes, I'm so sorry. Is that better? Zoomed in a little bit closer. Please let me know if it's too close. If I'm out of frame, please drop me a note. Um, anyway, I did use a Simon Says Stamp rectangle die. There's lots of rectangle dies from lots of different companies to die cut this. You could also just cut it with your uh, paper trimmer if you want to. I use that. One of the reasons I used a die is because this has a design on it and I wanted to make sure I had it centered. Playing with Simon's foam thing. Oh yeah, that is really cool. I don't have that yet. Um, I am not sure when I'm destashing yet. It's probably gonna be a week or two and I am going to make a note on my community tab here at YouTube and on Instagram probably a week before I do destashing this time because I know I get that all of the time. But I'm moving rooms and so I had some stuff to get rid of. Um, I did my die cutting off camera. Oh, getting together with some friends. Oh, that's so much fun. I love that. Um, I did my die cutting off camera yesterday just to prep for this so we're not spending all day doing it. Plus, my die cutting machine is behind me. I didn't want to have to lug it up here and all that. So really quick, I am going to show you what I'm using. This is the Simon Says Stamp Large Outline Happy Die. I'm not going to use the rectangle. We're just going to use the letters. I loved this, and then I did look for something. So my sentiment's going to be Happy Summer. And this is the Four Seasons set from... Simon Says Stamp. Um, I like that no matter what season you're using, you could kind of use any of these. So we're obviously going to do Happy Summer today. And I'm going to move all of this so we keep this area clean. Um, and then gnomes. I am only going to use three of the four gnomes from Simon. I've kind of been using them consistently in this series. So we have our Lil Gnome. We have our Deco Hat Gnome. 75 invitations. That is quite an undertaking, but how fun for a 16th birthday. Hi, Terry. Um, this hat has so much to it that I didn't really want to tackle that tonight. I like that you can use the solid piece if you don't feel like doing all of the little die cutting and paper piecing. So we're going to use these two guys and then the she gnome. And then what I love to do with these gnome cards and just when creating a die cut scene card in general is kind of search my stash for elements that might work for the season that I am crafting for. Hi Paula. Um, this is the Hero Lifestyle at the Beach. I haven't made my label for it yet. So the lifestyle sets, I know you can make like the paper dollish type images I actually haven't used those, but I have used a lot of these elements because I think they're really cute paired with other die cuts. So I liked that there was like a surf, we're gonna use the surfboard um, and then like the little pail and shovel and oh, the snorkeling goggles. But I like that flamingo floaty. I think it's really cute. I just couldn't figure out a way to make it work. Oh, thank you so much. 
So that's what we're gonna use for die cutting. Oh, that kind of stuck. And then I simply used a whole bunch of pattern papers from my stash. Some of them are not available anymore. And so definitely, um, you know, I just kind of used whatever I had. This one is Sunny Studio. I'm trying to think. I think this one might be Doodlebug. I did link, and I hope it's in there now. It will be when this video is over with the replay and stuff, it, for sure. The supplies. Um, oh, thank you, Barbara. I linked similar paper. Um, like, I think the one that's currently out is Land That I Love, I believe. You definitely wouldn't have to do like 4th of July or whatever. And obviously you can switch out the colors to make it anything that you want. But Doodlebug is really fantastic for having lots of small patterns, which is what I prefer with creating like these gnome cards. I'm trying to think. I think, I think some of these, no, I think these might be simple stories. But they had some small designs too. Um, actually, this red and white stripe, I'm using a scrap of this for my card too, and that's Lawn Fawn. These are all Lawn Fawn pattern papers. But you can see that I generally stick to a smaller pattern paper for the gnomes, so you can actually see the pattern because they are pretty teeny tiny. So that's kind of what we're using. I did do a red, white, and blue. Sunny Studio. Oh, a heat wave. Oh gosh, 98 to 60. Terry, that is quite a dip. We've had a, a lot of rain this week. In fact, I mowed this morning after everything went wrong <laughs> with my live that was supposed to be this morning. And we have mushrooms growing in the grass because we've had so much rain this week, but it's quite hot. Um, white on white, sunny studio. Actually, this one's Doodlebug, and I don't know where this is from. It was in my stash. This is my the Sunny Studio one that I love. Uh, I love the white on white. And I like this for a lot of different things because it works great. I did want to kind of mention my pattern paper. I generally only use 6x6 six six anymore. And you can see I hardly used any from each of these patterns. So I just store all of these. I actually just keep them uh, in a file. That video is coming too as I work on getting my office fixed it is still a mess I'm I'm working on it it's getting there I did a bunch of work on that today so but I will share my paper storage I live in Kansas Christy so here's our background and I'm just gonna I think I'm gonna just to start assembling some of our characters our characters our gnomes I like it too, Lauren. Okay, let's see. Have you guys seen this Barely Art Precision Craft Glue? I literally just ordered this and got it this week. I love it. Um, I didn't know if I would or not, but I, it has several different nozzles for it. This is kind of random and not about anything. And look, I love this. It's my little glue holder from Make It by Marco on Etsy. In fact, I don't think I linked that. I probably should link it for you guys because I love that it's rainbow. See, it just sits like this on my desk and easy to grab and use. Oh, you have to go to the grocery store. Shoot, I have to do a grocery pickup tomorrow. Natalie, I'm glad to hear that it's your go-to glue um, because I really, really like it. Okay, so we're gonna do our deco gnome first. I'm just gonna grab pieces and we'll color and get him put together. I gotta grab something, hold on. All right, so his little outfit's gonna be this little plaid. And the reason I didn't do his deco hat is because I loved this pattern paper. In fact, this I knew I had this pattern paper and so I went through my whole stash looking for it and kind of built upon that. So look at that little teeny tiny line of glue. I love it. All right. What I love about these particular gnomes is that there is the backing piece. So it makes putting them together so much easier. 
I am gonna color in his beard and nose with my Copic markers. So I use pattern paper for his outfit. Um, all of the face and hair is gonna be the Nina. And I like to start generally down at the bottom and build my way up. And I think my stick, my embellishment wand is not super sticky anymore. So is everyone else having lots of fireworks? Um, the size of glue, this is four fluid ounces. This is the big one. There is a mini one as well. I got the big one and then I'm gonna show you guys. Hold on, I don't remember where I put anything in my new office. But if you haven't, oh, here it is. If you have not seen, there's a refill. So I bought the whole set. Oh, please use the gnomes. They're so much fun. I bought, um, I bought this whole set because everyone, my friend Lori Willison just swears by it and loves it. And so I thought, well, I must need it then. Okay, so I'm starting to ask, is anyone else have lots of fireworks already going off? Or is that not just a thing that happens here? I have a neighborhood that loves, loves, loves fireworks. I've only lived here a little bit later this month will be uh, two years. I kind of wish they were illegal, Sandy. I'm gonna be honest, my little dog is terrified. And it's so hard. I have to take him outside. I think I'm taking him out early enough when it's still light out that it won't bother um, him. And I swear, there it's light now and people have been shooting him off for like two hours. Just kind of frustrates me, but that's okay. I'm missing some hair. So one thing I like to do with my gnomes, and it's definitely you don't need to do it because it is an extra step of die cutting, but I love to die cut the face twice so I get two noses because then I can pop one on top of another and it gives just enough dimension and I really, really love it. I'm not going to add it quite yet. I'll show you why. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, color in his beard because all of this white really doesn't look all that great. I'm really excited. I'm not used to uh, doing my cards in real time. I'm used to being able to like uh, edit all of that out. Oh good, you always double them too, Rebecca. That's awesome. Oh, nope, wrong one. Okay, so... We are just going to add, yes, I agree. I am super careful. We do have a fenced yard and I am just, uh, it's my first time for a live too. <laughs> we're, we're all new together. I really appreciate you guys sticking with me because, oh my goodness. Yeah, last year, both of my dogs got so scared that they pottied in the house, which... You just can't even, I was so, so upset for them that they were that scared. So I am just taking the tip of a warm gray Copic marker. I generally do this with Copics. I don't normally do it with the other markers. I don't know why. Probably, I've just always done it this way. And we're just going to kind of feather in very gently. I'm not super precise about it, I guess. Um, just to kind of give that kind of gray gnome beard look. Thank you. I was really nervous. Um, my son was going out to eat dinner with his dad and uh, he was like, Mom, I'm going to watch your live. I'm like, please don't. <laughs> He's 15 and of course he has 
YouTubers that he really enjoys watching and stuff. And so he was, he was a really big advocate for me to do this, which was so sweet. And I was like, thank you for, for supporting me, but please don't watch. <laughs> But he probably will. He probably just won't tell me till later. And there is his little beard. I love it. I think it's so cute. So I didn't do the second layer of the nose in case I got some gray on there. I don't really think I did this time, but sometimes I do. And then we're just going to pop that on there. I might let it sit for a minute before I color it in. And then we're going to build our little guy. So the little gnome is one of my favorites. I don't know what it is about him. Maybe it's just the small size, but I think it's cute. And this one's going to have like a little red and blue. And it has all those little cutouts. I have in the past inlaid all of those, but we're not going to tonight. I decided not to do that. Oh, Christine, I did my yard work earlier, so I hear you. You can catch the replay. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Stephanie. So what has everyone's favorite new release item been or what have you loved? I know Lawn Fawn's newest release, I I personally really, really, really love it. Um, I'd like to hear what you guys are loving. I love this glue, Margaret. I just got it. My friend Lori Willison talked it up a lot. She's had it for a while. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I don't need that glue. And I was with her. Oh, it's, it's been a couple months now and I saw her using it and I still didn't think I needed it. And here a couple weeks ago, I got it. Thank you, Christina. Yeah, Janice, it really stinks having a pet that's so afraid. I have had pets that were somewhat afraid before, but my, my little guy really, my, he's one and a half and he, he's scared. It is the best glue. I agree. I had no idea. I'm kind of mad at myself for, so this is a funny thing I was thinking earlier and I thought I would tell you guys. I'm kind of slow to catch on to trends. I, uh, I'm always like, yeah, I don't know if I need to do that. And then what do you know? Eventually, I'm like, yep, I should have just gone ahead and jumped on that bandwagon, but I'm not so good at jumping on the bandwagons. Oh, Rebecca, awesome. What did you get? What's your favorite thing from the release, from the Lawn Fawn release? And I'm really excited. I have two big videos next week, Monday and Tuesday. Um, oh, the Ink and Garden Spot. I love your name, by the way. Oh, the big word dyes and tropical leaves are so good. I'm doing some tropical um, leaves and flower cards coming up. I'm doing actually a whole bunch of stuff with them coming up. I just, the release was so, so good. Um, Monday, new waffle flower release. And um, Erica's Twilight. I would not know why it wouldn't be. I'm going to look. It says it's non-toxic, which is good, long-lasting. Oh, scrap, right here, scrapbooks, paper, artwork, decorations, crafts, and glitter. So I'm going to guess that it's probably good for any of that. Oh, and Waffle Flowers release Monday is like holiday themed, so I'm doing a Christmas in July, which is good because... I don't know about you guys, but we get close to the holidays and I cannot get all my stuff. So I'm really excited about that video because I did a lot of projects for that. 
And then um, because Monday is kind of considered a holiday um, or, you know, whatever, Hero Arts, my monthly, he oh, <laughs> and he now you get to see what really happens. I drop stuff. Uh, the Hero Arts, my monthly hero will be Tuesday and it is so good. It's so, so good. So two big videos next week. I'm really excited about those. So there is our little gnome. I love Christmas in July too. Oh yes, Erica's Twilight. The Simon Says Stamp embossing folders are amazing. So I think I'm gonna do the little snorkel mask on my, my little gnome for summer. Um. I don't know, Barbara, if I can do the hints for Hero Arts, but if you go over to the Hero Arts Instagram and uh, their blog, there have been tons of, um, well, not tons, but they the team has had some sneak peeks. I'm going to wait a minute until the glue dries a little bit for that. But those are exciting. Yeah, I love... So the Lawn Fawn release is really, really good. Um, if there's something specific from that that you guys would like to see me use, drop me a note, let me know. Like I said, I am doing like the, the die cut flowers, the tropical type of stuff. And then I think I'm gonna do some more, I haven't started it yet, but the, uh, the little flip-flops, the characters where they've brought out the little mini sets that are like the mirror image of the others. I'm going to do some more of those. I'm going to grab a white pen. Hi, Susie. I have not done any art impressions watercoloring, Kathy. I'm not the best watercolor. Thank you, Karen. I love the rainbow stuff too. Oh, the new paper from Lawn Fawn actually was, I was going to use it for this card and then I kind of changed my mind, um, but it's so, so good. So I like to add that little white highlight to the nose. I don't know why. It's just cute and fun. So there's kind of one of our little guys all done. Let's go ahead and color his in. I really hope you guys cannot hear the honking of uh, going on outside. We have a neighbor in that has like this little toy train. Oh, hints for my Spellbinders release? Yes, I will talk about that. Oh, I didn't change anything, Erica's Twilight. I wonder, I don't know, but let me know. If at any time you cannot hear me, please, please let me know. I will look into it, Kathy. Um, so I have a neighbor. I have a neighbor who has a tr uh, like a tractor and then a train that he built and he gives like all the little neighborhood kids rides and it's about that time of the evening. So there's lots of honking going on. He's, they're all going for rides. It's kind of cute. So there's kind of where we're at so far. I do think we're gonna add, oh, I think actually he goes over here. Let's go ahead and add that. So, um, oh good, I'm glad you don't hear the, the honking. <laughs> I can hear it, and so I'm like, oh my gosh, can everyone else hear that? Um, Spellbinders, because my release is coming out in the fall, it is a fall-themed release. I love fall. Um, so it's gonna be all of that kind of good fall stuff. No glimmer plates this time. In my wedding collection, there was a, a glimmer sentiment set. This one is gonna have a little stamp set that works with some of the elements. And you guys know I love my scene building, so that's, that's my hint for today. And I'm actually working on a video for that next week. Um, it's a little early, but I love the glimmer too. I wanted the glimmer, but you know, 
that got nixed, so oh well. I will be using glimmer with that. I'm glad you like the snorkel. I was super glad it worked out. Oh, Jacqueline, thank you for for the purchasing the wedding collection. I loved it. I feel like there's not a ton of great wedding stuff out there. Um, I just, I don't know. So I real I still love it. I'm gonna I'm working on a video for that too with some kind of updated cards. So this is the little she gnome. I really love her braids. I probably should have colored them before because her outfit's white on white. Oh, the Liberty Sunday Drive cards. They are so much work, but they are so cute. I love Spellbinders too. They really have so many great collections. I love the birdhouses. That was one of my favorites. Oh, I forgot to get markers. Be right back. Let's see. I knew I would forget something and they weren't super duper handy. So I'm gonna try to be really careful and not get this on the outfit I die cut. And I'm just gonna give her hair some, oh, I actually used the wrong one first. I'm gonna use the uh, darker color first because I don't wanna do a lot of blending. We just wanna do a tiny bit of blending um, by going back over the darker parts with our lighter marker. At least that's how I like to do it. And now the fireworks are going off in my neighborhood. So what is everyone's favorite occasion, season to make cards for? I kind of like everything. I know I always do so many for Christmas and I do enjoy doing all of those for Christmas. I like all of it though, I guess. And we're just going to go over it here with our lighter marker. Christmas and Valentine's, I agree. Fall and Christmas, yes. Sometimes I struggle with birthday cards, although I love the My Monthly Hero here last month with the birthday. That was really, really fun. Oh, Stacia, Halloween, yes. I love Halloween. I know not everyone does. I just really do. I like all fall things. I have so many plans. I quilt too. Um, I haven't quilted as much in the last few, couple years really since I moved, but recently kind of went crazy again and I have been quilting all the things, sewing all the things, cross stitching all the things. I don't know. Oh, Thanksgiving, yes. Anything I can use pumpkins for, I love. I live in Kansas. Lifelong Kansas resident. Um, I did move a couple of years ago to a different city, quite a bit. I, I live in a suburb, but quite a bit bigger city. Um, and I love it. Um, everyone always can't believe it, but I never had a Target till I moved here. Um, not close anyway. I'd have to drive to the closest Target, which I love. So, um, yeah, I love it here. Okay, so there are her, like, little braids or whatever. And I didn't add her hat 
ahead of time because I didn't want to accidentally get any color on it, even though I added her outfit. I thought the least amount of things told the family to order pizza. This is my son and I's pizza night too. He is my last one at home, but he, he did go out with his dad tonight. But um, Friday nights are pizza night. He loves pizza. I don't love it as much as I used to. All right, we're missing our heart. Here it is. Um, but we do pizza on on Friday nights. Kind of our treat for the week. I actually treated both of my sons. My oldest came over um, earlier. I'm sorry. I'll be right back. Um, he came over earlier this week. And they moved some heavy furniture for me. So that was nice. And we did pizza then. So what I love about the She Gnome, um, I have three kids. Two of them uh, don't live here. I have a 22-year-old son and a 20-year-old daughter. Um, they both, um, my son works full-time, my oldest son works full-time. My daughter also works full-time and goes to school full-time. So and they both have their own apartments, but luckily we all live fairly close. So I love that the little she gnome has these little braids for her hair. I think they're cute. And then I know I said that I don't do a lot of, I wasn't going to do a lot of inlay, but I feel like the hearts need the inlay. So I did die cut her outfit from some red as well, but they are so teeny tiny. So we're just going to grab them with our embellishment wand. How about embellishment wands? Does anyone have one they super love? I do like this one and I have loved it. I probably just need to get a new tip for it because it's not very sticky anymore. But I don't know what I would do without it because these pieces are tiny. Yep, fireworks are going off, and my dog does not like it at all. Yours are sticky. Yeah, see, my tip is just kind of, I just need to maybe get rid of some of that that has paper fuzz on it. Oh, a new one from Trinity. Yeah, I think I did see that. Um, I have a little, I have two Shizus actually. Yeah, they're both right under my feet actually. Um, they're Velcro dogs. Um, they're Shizus. And one, I actually, I had one before. He was six and he, a crazy deal. When he was about five, he, uh, went blind <laughs> and he got sick and we took him to actually the K-State veterinary clinic and everything because they suspected he had Cushing's and it's probably what caused him to go blind, but he didn't test for it when, when we took him. And uh, lo and behold, probably about eight months later, he was diagnosed with Cushing's and he did adapt really well to being blind and everything, but he ended up getting very, very sick um, in November of 2019, and he passed away. And so I was devastated. So we picked out a puppy. We go and we pick out this puppy, and uh, our whole family was devastated. We absolutely loved, loved our... It, his name was Cujo. His name, he was a Shizu everyone thought that was funny because he was definitely not a Cujo. He was sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, but the kids were devastated. Um, and so we pick out a puppy and while we're there, they have, um, this, a little male and he was 10 and they needed to find a home for him. And so he's kind of a, a rescue because he definitely took a, a lot of love, but, oh, he's so cute. So we have a little old man who thrives. I think he didn't know life could be so good. And then we have our, 
our little two-year-old. So there are my gnomes. Oh, they're turning out great. I'm so excited. Thank you. Yeah, we loved him a lot. He was a good, good dog. Okay, I think we're going to do our sentiment next. Part of the reason I picked that happy um, outline was because each letter, any alphabet really would do here. Um, you wouldn't have to use a happy die. But I liked that it had this little outline. And so I did die cut the die once from, I believe, Lawn Fawn Fog cardstock, which is a really, really light gray. And I didn't know if it would show up, but I think it does. When I laid this out on the paper, um, yesterday, I thought I really liked it. I just think it helps them stand out. But I did do my letters in different colors. So I'm going to kind of figure out where I want them all to go. Because they probably need to go down first. And then I'm thinking we're going to do a little happy summer. Yes. Yep. I kind of like that. And then I thought we would add maybe a little stamped sentiment. I found this Chillin' Gnomes. I'm excited to do my craft room video too. I honestly had just been working with furniture and things that weren't really working for me. Um, I've spent, I don't sketch out my cards, Christy. Um, I have spent a lot of this last week actually working on my office and building for Ikea furniture. So I think we're gonna stamp that, okay. I wanna make sure I'm leaving enough room. I think these guys can scoot. I want them to overlap a little. And then I want the surfboard and my little gnome to be over here, but he's hanging off too much. So maybe, let's go ahead and the snorkel is from a hero art set. And let me tell you, I'll show you what it is. This is the hero art set that the snorkel, the surfboard, and the bucket and shovel come from. And I don't have the label on it yet. This is the hero lifestyle at the beach. So hero arts has a line that um, works like paper doll kind of images if you want to. I was mentioning earlier, I've never used them actually with the paper doll, but I have used the different elements on things before because I think they're really cute. And they just happen to work great for this. So I like to use some tweezers when doing this just to kind of help, again, keep my fingers out of it when I'm gluing things. I really like these. These are from Spellbinders, my favorite. Oh, I know what I wanted to ask everyone. Um, I'm taking suggestions for next week's live. So um, if I have a product, I will uh, definitely take it into consideration. But if there is something that y'all have want, been wanting to see, please drop me a note and let me know because I I have been kicking this around for a while and I decided to just go for it perfect or not which definitely not um, and figured just like with anything just like when I started doing videos it will get better there's always room to learn and grow and improve <laughs> um, but I had not really made like a list I do have a list like from YouTube comments for things that people would like to see, but I would love to know if there's anything in particular that you guys would like to see me do live um, or a technique or whatever the case may be. So please let me know. I would really appreciate it. Also would love to know if anyone um, does all die cut cards. Do you like doing all die cut cards? Oh, thank you. 
You guys are so nice. Oh gosh, I didn't just do the letter P, did I? Mm -hmm. I'm reading comments and not paying attention. I really was so nervous about this. I've been nervous all day. <laughs> Anything from Lawn Fawn, that's kind of how my feeling and where I was thinking. Oh, I love all die cut cards too. I just want to make sure I'm doing a variety of things in these lives and hopefully um, things that you guys want to see. I need to move some stuff out of the way. Doing it live is definitely interesting. Thank you, Paula. That's really nice. The card making doesn't scare me as much as the technical side of things. I think it's just a mental block I have. I'm always so nervous I'm going uh, to mess up all of the technical part of things because I just, I'm not interested in it, honestly. Copic coloring techniques, yes, they can be. That's a good one. Christmas tags. Yeah, that would be a good one for July. We will, I will do something with that. That'd be a good Christmas in July type of live, I think. And if you like tags, just an FYI, um, Monday, Monday. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, a second for the Christmas tags. I'll see what I can come up with. This always seems like such a good idea until you actually go to put it together and it's kind of tedious. Nan, you like all die cut cards too? Yeah, I do too. I find it kind of fun to, like a challenge. Test Christmas tags. Yes. I need all the Christmas tags. I love making Christmas tags. That's probably my very favorite. The alphabet, um, Melissa, is, I'm gonna show you again. I know I showed it at the beginning, but not everyone maybe was here yet. Um, it's actually just this happy large outline die from Simon Says Stamp. Um, I like it because it works with so many different things. You could use like, if you had a scripty birthday, happy birthday. Happy anniversary, you know, happy any season, really, or occasion. I just, I really, really like it. So I'm getting a lot of Christmas tag yeses. I will see what I can come up with. Do you make your... Um, does everybody make their own tags for Christmas? I have for the last quite a few years. That is probably my number one thing that I make. I love making the tags. Oh, Karen, I know. I'm so sorry. Lawn Fawn Snow Globes. Yes, are you talking the, the little ones or the bigger ones? Or the interactive one? There's several, I believe. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, they are a great, tags are a great thing to keep because you can often use them like for decoration later, the tree or something. The Hero Art Scenic Stencil. Oh yeah. Oh, I love that you give them away as gifts, Sandy. That's awesome. Yes, Erica's Twilight, I am the same way. I get so flustered and I've really been trying to just 
this is completely out of my comfort zone. But I will tell you that I do watch some lives. And funny enough, I'll admit this to everyone here since you're here. I don't really watch card making lives. Um, I watch lives from some of my other favorite YouTubers. I have several that I like. Um, that is not very straight, but that's okay. Um, I have like a quilt one that I watch, a quilting channel. And then I also watch a lawyer channel. I like, and I'm a huge, huge true crime buff. I also listen to loads of podcasts. Oh yes, the Hugging Critter gift tag holders. I love those from Lawn Fawn, those are good. So the P is not very straight and normally that would really bother me, but I think we'll just kind of disguise it with the word summer and it'll be fine. Talking and trying to read is hard. Okay, the little Lawn Fawn Snow Globes. Okay, yes. I will definitely add those to my list. Oh yeah, that's going to disguise it. Yay. I'm going to grab an acrylic block to hold that down. For a second. And I also think we want to maybe... Add... I really kind of wanted that to be back behind and I forgot. Is it glued down really, really good? Might be, darn it. That's okay, that should work. All right. So I'm trying to decide if I should do some die cut stars or some glittery, like confetti stars or like um, the little clay stars. What do you guys think? I did not pull anything out. And I also think I put glue. Oh good, Karen, you like the true crime too, yes. I need to, something glitterly, glittery, Melissa? Yeah, I kind of agree. I'm thinking maybe something silvery to tie into a snorkel, maybe. Some silver star confetti or something. I'll have to go grab those here in a minute. Okay, so got our last, I'm gonna move this. Got our little bucket. Trying to decide, I'm thinking maybe here. Now comes down to the part where I move stuff around and try to figure out how. Oh, I know what I was thinking. Trying to figure out where I want everything to go. I was actually thinking that would be kind of cute but I think that needs to tip. I really am kind of mad that I glued that down and I forgot to put my surfboard underneath it. Thank you. It is working out pretty good. Where is all of this? Oh, it's all the paper fuzz. We're gonna have to do a little vacuuming in here in a little bit. <sighs> okay. I think we'll, Barbara, I do probably three to five a week. It really just kind of depends on what I have going on. Um, and yeah, three to five. They're not always all for my channel. Like, I do exclusive ones for Simon Says Stamp as well. Thank you, Amy.
yeah, I kind of thought die cut the Y shape into it. Shoot, you guys, hold on. Guys, there might be some shaking here really quick. I apologize. I lost my screen mirror. This is that fun stuff I was telling you about. So, um, sorry. Okay, is everyone still here? <laughs> sorry, and I'm sorry again. Because this is gonna be my hand in the way, shaking. Okay, okay, thank you, Marilyn. Gosh, sorry guys. Just my screen mirroring so I couldn't read anything anymore and that kind of stinks, so. But now, no picture. Oh, really? Dang it. No picture for anyone? Can't see anything, okay. Hold on, you guys. I will bring it right back. Okay. Is it back for anyone? Please let me know. I'm so sorry, you guys. This is that fun stuff that I was telling you about. Nope. No one can see it. Okay. No, still black. Okay. I am probably going to stop it and restart, you guys. Okay. 